I was using marijuana because it made me feel better. I wasn't really using it for fun. The first couple times it was a lot of fun. I can't feel okay unless I'm high. So once that started to rule my life, my day was I wake up, where's my weed? How am I gonna get high? Where am I gonna get high? Who am I gonna get high with? Do I have money to get high? I was good at math. I was athletic, all kinds of things like that. And the, as I got more and more addicted and smoked more and more and more, I couldn't do my homework. I couldn't think clearly. I couldn't, like I had a girlfriend, uh, like a very serious girlfriend that I, from about 13 to 16, I couldn't talk to her. She'd be like, why are you doing this? Or why are you doing that? I couldn't actually understand what was happening to me. Marijuana is accessible to every kid in every school, in every city, in every province of this country. So if the kids want it, they're going to get it anyways. So the legalization or this legislation is not going to change that at all. And I think when politicians say that and talk about that, it's dishonest. It's political crap because that's what their job is. We should be focusing on the honest reality of the situation, right? Maybe he could say something like, the legalization is going to give us money to help kids if they have addiction problems. Or the legalization is going to help with our prison system because we're not going to be arresting people and sending them to jail. So we need to cut that crap, focus on the reality of the situation. Why are kids getting high all the time? What leads them to addiction? And if they are having a hard time, how do we help them? You know, in the 60s and 70s, the THC level was around two to five, six, seven percent. Now it's around 20 to 25 percent. So the marijuana that older generations grew up smoking actually wasn't harmful or wasn't very strong. But the marijuana that is around today is a lot stronger. So yes, it is more harmful than it used to be. And a lot of the people in the government and in policy making decisions relate to marijuana that was used a long time ago. 35-year-old Stroh is a strong health professional. He has also suffered from high blood pressure since he was 13. From 13 years old, he has been given to high blood pressure until 30 years old.